After putting on several movable feasts in places like Lytton and Tecumlips, the Two Rivers Remix Big Weekend Finale took place in Bonaparte on July 8th to 10th. Featured were singers, dancers, rappers, international indigenous acts, hand poke tattoo artists, and more. Not only for the audience, but for the artists and even the production crew and our helpers and workers and volunteers, it's been a nourishing and nurturing experience for all of us. We all somehow needed this. It's like a, like a medicine. I was going to say a food, but it's more like a medicine, like a concentrated medicine. Now we can allow those tears that have fallen to go into the earth. And now it's time to dry the tears. Mika Morgan wanted to build a festival that was as much about community as it was about art. After all, the two are so closely linked together. The Indigenous community is a global one. One act came from as far as New Zealand, and it wasn't her first time. Yeah, a lot has changed. So our group name is Mana Take Take, um, and that it means the strength and the resilience of indigenous peoples. Um, being back here has been really, really, um, this time round has been really powerful. I, I remember last um, tour in 2019, it was the most um, enjoyable and most connected we were with um, the organizers of festivals on that particular tour and we just fell in love with Mika and her family um, and so I we, yeah I was fortunate enough to be um, brought back over by Mika. With performers such as the Malaman Collective, Geo aka The Voice, Curtis Clear Sky and more, there is no shortage of musical acts. However, Musical artists were not the only ones busy that weekend, such as hand poke tattoo artist Echo Alec. I heard someone say this morning that this is like an everything festival. This is like an everything music festival. We have all types of different indigenous artists and that allows space for uh, people who are focused on maybe one kind of genre to open up a little bit because indigenous people are so innovative within their music, within their crafts, it doesn't matter what we're doing, right? There's always ways of like weaving together our indigenous teachings, um, our sounds within music and so we are getting to witness all of that in all of the genres and it's amazing. <laughs> They thought I was wrong, you thought I was here, but they think I'm wrong. I stand my ground, sing my song, just be in my drum. Oh my gosh, it was um, amazing. I've known Mika for many, many, many years, over 20 years, and uh, this is a dream come true for her and um, the community. And I think since we lost, I lost my business in Lytton as well, and you know, since the fire gathering and people coming together in this way has been um, missed so greatly. And to come together in a resurgence like this of indigenous artists, musicians, um, really has empowered me personally as an artist and an entrepreneur. Keeping the festival grassroots is about keeping it focused on the community and focused on people. The show is merely a vessel for the greater purpose of bringing people together. Because it's not about ego here. It's about bearing witness to the experiences and stories and about creating these spaces of value and love and tolerance. And so we're all managing ourselves in a very, very healing and helpful and collaborative way. Something that starts as grassroots and maintains the values of grassroots throughout the entire evolution of it is so, so powerful to witness. Um, the ways that it continues to blossom into everything it's becoming while staying rooted within community is so beautiful. Um, I have nothing but love and respect for the team, for everyone surrounding this festival, and everyone who continues to join it, support it, and uh, share the word. That is definitely one of the, the best things about this tour, is getting to um, meet people in small towns and making um, really special connections. I know that's one of the things that happened in Linton 2019 um, it makes it more intimate I find um, 
getting to having the time to be able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations and learning about our creation stories and the similarities that we have in our cultures. Mika Noel Morgan wanted to express how thankful she was for all the help and support from friends, family, sponsors, volunteers, artists, and more. She feels encouraged that the Two Rivers Remix is a sustainable long-term project that will make an impact in the surrounding communities and beyond. Uh, no, just thank you to all our sponsors, but really thank you to our incredible crew. You know, without my team, we wouldn't be able to do this. It's not just one person that does this. It's a whole crew of people that have each other's backs all the time. So even when there was moments of stress, which there definitely were, they all made sure that we were all okay. And as long as we're all making sure we're okay, we're all okay. And I think it's a really great example of how, you know, we can be as well as a society in our communities. For Valley TV News, I'm Joey Ong.